Hello, this is Ashley Edwards, and this is going to be a quick video just demonstrating our project Provincial Prosperity. Um, so yeah, the video will do a quick demonstration of the project so far, of where it's at. And then I'm also going to talk about just a few things we're planning on implementing in the future. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So over here, I have the Unity project open. So we're going to get, get started on this. Um, so when you start, at the moment, it jumps straight into the game. Obviously, we'll have menu systems and stuff later on, further down the line. Um, but yeah, so the, the general idea of the game is to bring prosperity to the country of Austria um, by investing in the regions of Austria. So prosperity, for our game's sake, is defined by the hunger of the people and the economy of each region. Uh, so for example, clicking on Salzburg here, which I've just done, you can see the hunger bar. Yeah, it's quite low. Um, the economy, not too bad. It's about average. All right, so when you start the game, each region will have randomly assigned values for the hunger and their economy. Um, so one thing we can do here as well, uh, we could have different difficulty modes. For example, an easy mode, each region could start, you know, quite better off, like Bergenland, for example. On medium, it could do something like we're on, like like what we've got now. Everything's you know okay, not too bad. Um, on hard mode, you could have each region could be in a in in a bad way. Um, so that's something we can focus on. But anyway, back to the game. So the first. Um, the first, uh, I guess, phase, we have three three phases. We have the investment phase, the events phase, and then the feedback phase. Um, and each month, so each of these uh, icons at the bottom, they represent a month of the year. And then each each month, we have these three phases. Uh, so for the investment phase, which is the phase we're on now, uh, we can click on the regions, the provinces, and then we can decide whether to invest in their hunger and their economy. So up in the top right there, we have our bank, um, which allows 10 investments per investment phase. So we're going to look at which one's not doing too well. So Vorarlberg, clearly very hungry. So we're going to add some investment there. Um, Salzburg as well. I think Corinthia was battling the economy. So as you can see, the bank on the top right is going down there. Styria, maybe one of the economy there. And then, oh, there we go. Lower Austrians is quite hungry. Okay, so once you've made your investments, it goes on to the random events phase. So at this point, it spawns in three cards. So obviously they're designed to look like playing cards, you know, that you'd have on maybe a board game. Um, if it's green, it's a good thing. If it's red, if it's a bad thing. So when they spawn in, we want it to kind of give the feel that they're actually being placed on a tabletop. So obviously you can see the cards behind it. It also gives an idea to the player that, you know, uh, we have a bad event coming up. And then again behind it is another bad event. Um, so it's like sort of foreshadowing almost, uh, kind of giving a hint of, as to what's to come. So we'll start from Salzburg. So if we click on Salzburg here, uh, an education initiative, new education educational program is implemented, resulting in a highly skilled workforce and increased innovation. So that's that's great. And then clicking on this will apply those values then to Salzburg. Um, yeah. So the idea of these cards, they're picked from a random pool of good or bad cards. Um, it's a 50-50 chance of being a good card or a bad card at the moment. And again, referring back to like difficulties and things like that, we could um, change these values. So, you know, make it more likely to give a bad card or a good card, depending on the difficulty you're playing on. Um, lots of balancing and things that we need to work on once um, we've kind of got the full game going. Um, so there you go, the, the values are applied. Uh, so Corinthia down here, um, this is spelled incorrectly there. I need to make a change to that. Um, Energy crisis. A shortage of energy supply occurs, resulting in the increased energy prices, production disruptions, and operational challenges for businesses. So we're going to click on this and it'll apply the values. Again, that goes down. And then Volberg, we've got an economic recession. So again, these values are going to be taken away from Volberg. Sorry about that. Um, and then finally, we get to the third phase, so the feedback phase. Um, so each region's representative is now going to give us some feedback on how the region is doing. So Tyrol, we have... The, uh, the skiing, the, uh, the skier here. Um, so each representative is supposed to be sort of the typical sort of person or character you would find in that region um, designed by our artists. Um, so yeah, they've given some feedback. Our food supplies are adequate, but there's room for improvement. As you can see, it's sort of midway. Um, our economy is strong and growing. Keep up the good work. So depending on the region's actual hunger and their economy uh, will depend on the comments they give. So we go to the next one. So Salzburg, our food supplies are plentiful and our people are well-fed. Our economy is strong and growing. Keep up the work. Okay, great. We go to the next one, Carinthia. So our food supplies are adequate, but there's room for improvement. Okay, our economy is stable, but we could use more investment. So you can see it's not looking great, but you know it's not too bad for now. And then so on and so forth. So each of the regions will give some feedback um, to the player. And then obviously in the next investment phase, they can use that advice to make their investments more wisely. 
Um, yeah, so if we skip through these, there is a bug. We need to sort out the the Vienna representative. Doesn't show at the end there, so that's something I need to look into. But yeah, so now we skip to the next month. So now we're in month two out of 12. And we can see that we've now got the uh, the bank is now full again to make 10 more investments. Um, so we also had a discussion about potentially changing how much investment you can make depending on how well the game is doing. So for example, if your happiness of the entire country is up here, maybe you'd have more to invest each time. But obviously we have to consider the actual game loop and the balancing of that. Maybe if you're doing badly, there'll be less investments to be made. But again, that's all about balancing. Um, so looking at some of these countries, this one's yellow. Obviously the, the worst uh, region is doing, the, uh, it will be in like a red, yellow, or orange. If it's green, it means it's doing well. Um, so Korean theater could do with some economy. Borlberg, I'm hunger there maybe. Upper Australia is looking very hungry. Uh, maybe one for the economy there, Vienna. Um, so we also take into consideration the populations of each region. So if I actually go and show you on the canvas, if I go into the map, the regions, and then Vienna, for example. Um, so each each class for the for the region has a region population. And then the overall happiness of the country actually takes into account the amount of people in each region. So for example, like Vorarlberg only has 30,000 people. So having a large investment in Vorarlberg is not going to affect the overall happiness of the country as much as Vienna. So for example, if I click on Vorarlberg here and then add to the hunger in the economy, you can see there's barely a change in the overall happiness. Whereas if I go to Vienna here and then do the same thing, there was a big jump due to obviously the population. You're, uh, you're pleasing more people. Okay, so again, back onto the uh, events phase. So an energy crisis in Salzburg. So that's gonna reduce, not too bad, we're okay there. The next one, oh, it looks like we've got two good ones. This is good. So Bergenland, uh, educational, great. That was really good. And then lower Austria, um, another good one, cool. So now obviously again, feedback. So we'll, we'll just skip through these and then we'll go back to the start. So yeah, this is the game loop. Um, this is sort of what we got so far. The idea is that by the end of the 12 months, uh, you'll need to have either brought the prosperity up all the way to the end or not have killed anyone off. <laughs> so if obviously if, they, uh, if the, um, the prosperity for each region, the hunger and the economy reaches too low, that would be the end of the game. Um, so yeah, we do need to finish off the actual winning and losing conditions, but that's something that should be fairly simple to do. Um, obviously, lots of UI work to be done, menu systems and things like that. But for now, the main game loop is there. Um, we'd like to obviously start focusing on balancing and figuring out you know, other things that we can also add. Uh, we were also considering the idea of having a reputation. So obviously, you being like the governor or the prime minister of the country, um, everyone has a reputation. So we're thinking maybe on the feedback stage, if the feedback isn't good or repeatedly a country, or, sorry, a region needs um, improvement, maybe that will affect reputation. So maybe by the bank, you could have a reputation meter where if your reputation reaches a certain level, um, maybe that could end the game. So there are things that we've been talking about that we'd like to include in the future. Um, I think as for now, we've got a decent, pretty solid groundwork for the project going forward. Um, but yeah, this this is where we're at right now. And I think given given some more time, I think it can be something quite good. Um, I think what we've achieved in the time that we have had, considering we've only had four team members, two of them being artists, and then only myself and another team member developing, I think we've achieved something, you know, that we're quite proud of. Um, but yeah, I think lots, lots more to come. And there'll be, uh, I think, lots of updates in the future to see. So keep an eye on the page. And then, yeah, we hope that you can give some feedback in the comments and let us know what you think about the game. Um, and if there's any any advice that anyone can give or any feedback, that'd be really great. Uh, but yeah, for now, we'll leave it at that. So yeah, thank you for watching.